The United States Department of Homeland Security, USDHS, has imposed a one-year ban on Filipino workers seeking jobs across the U.S. under the federal H-2A and H-2B programs. In a January 18 notice posted on its federal register, the DHS banned the entry of additional Filipino workers with H-2A and H-2B visas due to overstaying and human trafficking concerns. The one-year ban is effected from January 19, 2019, to January 18, 2020. H. 2A visas are temporary visas for foreign agricultural workers while the H-2B visas are given to foreign workers providing non-agricultural services in the U.S. The Philippines has a high H-2B overstay rate. In Phi 2017, DHS estimated that nearly 40% of H-2B visa holders from the Philippines overstayed their period of authorized stay, the DHS notice read. It noted that among all U.S. posts in the world, the U.S. Embassy Manila issues the greatest number of T-derivative visas. T-derivative visas are reserved for certain family members of principal T1 non-immigrants or certain victims of severe forms of trafficking in persons, the DHS said. DHS and DUES, Department of State, are concerned about the high volume of trafficking victims from the Philippines who have originally issued H-2B visas and the potential that continued H. 2B visa issuance may encourage or serve as an avenue for future human trafficking from the Philippines, the DHS said. It added that these overstay in human trafficking concerns were severe enough to warrant the removal of the H-2A visa program as well, citing Filipinos for full increase in H. 2A visa applications between 2015 and 2018. The Philippines' continued inclusion creates the potential for abuse, fraud, and other harm to the integrity of the H-2A or H-2B visa programs, it noted. The DHS also imposed the same ban on Ethiopia and the Dominican Republic. The notice, however, does not affect the status of aliens who currently hold H-2 or H-2B non-immigrant status. Persons currently holding such status, however, will be affected by this notice should they seek an extension of stay in H-2 classification, or a change of status from H-2 classification, or a change of status from one H-2 status to another, DHS said.